What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to upload vertical videos to Instagram with the whole frame being covered just as you see right now. So this is a really cool and easy thing to do in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, so hopping on to Final Cut Pro 10, what we're going to be doing is creating a project. Now, you can see I already have one, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that and show you guys how to do it from scratch. So we have the Instagram video here. We're going to go ahead and right click on the left panel here, and we're going to go to the new project. So from here, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. Uh, usually, it's going to look like this for the most part. I'm just going to name it uh, Test two for some reason I don't know uh, in in event uh, we're gonna just do it in the Instagram event right here uh, I should make a tutorial on this guys so you guys understand where to put events and how to make folders and projects and stuff like that so if you guys want a tutorial on that just comment down below or just leave a like that'd be awesome starting time code just leave that how it is we're gonna leave everything how it is and we're gonna click on OK and we're gonna go ahead and import some footage so I'm gonna go into my desktop so we have this footage here it looks pretty cool very basic so I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this into the timeline I'm gonna sh uh, make this fit in here and I'm also gonna go ahead and just disable the audio for now so we have this video here it's recorded originally in 29 by 97 or 30 frames so we can check that by going to window then project properties or command J this is a little secret for you guys so 1920 by 1080 it's actually filmed at 23.98 frames so 24 frames now we're not officially going to do that yet because I'm just going to go ahead and import a quick little effect here so I'm going to go into the emlet I'm just going to choose this to kind of stylize the video I made a tutorial on this already guys for LUTs but this is just kind of kind of makes the video pop out a little bit more so it looks more of a film kind of effect to do this it's very simple we're going to go back to that project settings panel we're going to the modify so click on modify and everything will be the same but you can't change the rate so just keep it how it is no matter what but where we see the format on in next to the video it says 1080p hd yours might be 720p if you filmed it in 20 1280 by 720 or 4k 4k i would obviously bring it down to 1080 but we're not going to do that anyways we're just going to go to the custom and we're going to change the first resolution so we're going to do 864 now the reason i came up with this i didn't come up with this uh, actually a link will be down in the description so I'll click on ok and you're going to notice that there's some black bars on the top and the bottom called uh lettering i think letter letter box so we're gonna you guys can of course you know save it like this and just completely upload it like that but it's kind of boring. I don't like it. I want the full frame to be filled with the video. So how do you do that? Well, if you click on this little down arrow on the top or the, on the left side of Final Cut, you're going to have the transform option. You guys can, of course, scale it up like that and then just kind of move it wherever you want holding shift. Have it so it doesn't move up and down. But I don't like this way. I don't like it this way because you just have to kind of guess. But I like the crop option. Now it's going to bring you to the trim. Just click on crop. And this will keep it so it's straight and it doesn't align to the edge, as you can see. And you can move it to wherever you want. I'm just going to keep it in the middle because I'm filming everything in the middle. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to click on done. And now you're going to see that the video is all filled with the frame. If I make this full screen, you're going to see how it looks like. It looks amazing. The quality is still good depending on the kind of camera you filmed. So you are going to be scaling this up. So a higher or a, let's say a better camera is going to be more beneficial to you in this case if you're going to be going this route of course so uh, now once we're done with this let's say we want to add some transitions so command t it's going to look like that looks nice i'm ready to export what do i do just go to file go to share i think it's around here or i have to go in my timeline so go to file and then share and then master file or just go right here and save it to uh, your desktop or whatever so you can get a little preview like this Make sure the settings are just like that, 864 by 1080. Click on next and then choose the spot where to save it to. I'm just saving it to my desktop. It's going to go ahead and just uh, export the video so it's already done. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. It was a short video. That's why it was fast. And there you go. Of course, I didn't. I disabled the audio, but you guys can enable it if you want. And this is what it's going to look like when you export it, of course. Now, how do you actually send it to your iPhone? Well, I found a trick and I'll go onto the camera right now. 
All right, guys, so on your iPhone, what you wanna do from here is just slide up on your iPhone to go into the little notification center. You're currently gonna have the receiving off set like that, so just go ahead and click on it and set to everyone. So once you have the receiving on on the airdrop on your iPhone, go to your video that you saved, right click, go to share and select airdrop. Now, you wanna go ahead and click on the iPhone that should be enabled and it should have already sent. This just helps you save time with iTunes where you only wanna just sync the video to your iPhone. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just switch on to the camera again. All right guys, so this is what the video is gonna look like once you have it saved onto your camera roll. It's gonna look just like that. You're probably gonna have the black bars, but that's totally fine. Go onto the Instagram app and to go ahead and just open up the little thing here to select your video. And uh, you're gonna go ahead and just select your video. You guys uh, will have the option to slide up or down to kind of fit it into the frame with this, within a square. But if you hit that little kind of arrow, it's gonna fill the frame and you'll get that perfect resolution and the dimensions for Instagram for the vertical mode, of course, or you guys can just, you know, crop it to the original square that Instagram provides for you. So you guys can go ahead and change the cover by sliding uh, left or right and choosing a thumbnail for your video. So when you go ahead and just push play one more time, it's gonna go ahead and just preview the video for you, confirming that's how you want it to look. And you guys will also have audio, but I didn't include it in this video for this example. But if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time.